Hello and welcome to anubavtrainings.com. In this episode, we are going to learn how to create calculation views in SAP Business Application Studio with the help of table functions. In the last episode, we saw how to create table functions in SAP HANA Cloud using Business Application Studio. For complete training on SAP HANA Cloud development on CAP model with BTP, you can join our course on anubavtrainings.com. So, what is a table function? Table function is a function which returns always a table form of data using SQL script logic. And today we will see how to build a calculation view on top of that. So, in the last class, we have built a table function called get vendors. Let me show you the table function which you have created. It was created in the scripts section called get vendors. I will now use this get vendors table function, which is returning all the vendor data to a calculation view. So let us go ahead and experience the same. So I'm going to switch over back to view, find command, and choose create SAP HANA database artifact. And now we will create a table function. So let's go to the model folder. and click open. So we are organizing all our development in proper folder structure and we will create a calculation view. You can check my previous video on Anubav training series about creating a table function. So now let's create a calculation view and let's name it as tab function. And I will be creating it as a cube, cube type. Let's click on create. And this should now create a calculation view for us. Let's open the calculation view. And what we will now do is we will add here the projection nodes. So I'm going to add two projection nodes. Yes, and in the first projection node, we will add our transaction table for purchase order. In the second projection node, I will add a table function get vendors. So let me add all the required columns which I need to show in the output. drag and drop and then also for the table function. Next step is to add a join. Let me connect the nodes. So you know the table function will always return a table data. And now we double click on the join to join them. So the partner GUID here connects to my vendor ID. We will choose the join as one is to one cardinality of type referential join. And then we will expose the fields outside. Superb. Let's connect this to aggregation. And now we will just mark our measures and attributes. So purchase order ID is not a measure. Though it's a number, but it's not. Gross amount is the right measure. Cool. So that's the definition of our view. I will now deploy the view into HANA Cloud. So just click on this rocket icon to deploy our view to HANA Cloud. And then we will be able to go to the container and test the view. So let's go ahead and see this. We go back to the system. And here we can see the options. So we can see this column view section where we can find out all the system. Yeah. So now what I can find here is CV table function. So we can see CV table function. We can right click and open data. This is the runtime artifact which system has created for us. And you can see all the fields. We can see the raw data. The joint is perfectly working fine. 
and I can just show here city-wise sales or purchase. So these are all the cities which we have totally in our system and system is showing all the purchases per city. So you can see Cape Town has highest purchase. Now I would like to show the impact of change to really understand the behavior just in case our table function changes how it impacts my output. For example in my company the requirement is to show all the purchase done for a particular country only like US. So what I will do right now you can see there are so many of cities coming from different countries. I will go back to our business application studio in the get vendor function and add a where condition where I will say the country is US. The country comes from ADR namespace and I will save. I will now redeploy my table function just to showcase that the join is going to respect even the code which we write in SQL script. So now I am just returning only the US specific vendors as output. Which means if I switch over back to the database explorer and just to try to reload the data if I just cancel this and again add cities. Voila you can see now it only shows cities from US like New York, Morristown, Dallas, Chicago and so on. So this is the beauty of injecting a SQL script inside your calculation view. You can really control the behavior of your output depending on the need. I hope you enjoyed this video and it helped you also in your project. For complete training on HANA Cloud, join our course on SAP uh, SAP BTP training on HANA Cloud with anubavtrainings.com. Please like, share, subscribe this video and thank you so much for attending this session. I'll catch you up in the next class. Goodbye.